Tonight, we are taking a deeper look at the incredible research that goes on every single day at St. Jude. Research at the world-renowned hospital has single-handedly pushed the overall survival rate for childhood cancer from 20% when St. Jude opened back in 1962 all the way up to 70% today. And tonight, we focus on one of many St. Jude scientists trying to stop childhood cancer. Day in and day out. Dr. Stacy Ogden has one goal, to help cure childhood cancer. And she says making new discoveries here at a St. Jude Children's Research Lab is a scientist's dream come true. The facilities here at St. Jude are really unmatched. Uh, the support that we receive is unmatched. This is an absolutely fantastic place to do science. This is the first children's hospital to put the scientists, the doctors, and the patients all here under one roof. So the discoveries made right here in this lab can be tried immediately on sick children when time, of course, is not on their side. In drug companies, it can take 15 years from the point of you know, identifying a compound to getting it into the clinic. At St. Jude, study, getting compounds into the clinic can happen much more quickly because the basic scientists communicate with the doctors in the clinic on a daily basis. The jingles, everybody. Advances here, for example, have taken the survival rate for non-Hodgkin lymphoma, which this year St. Jude Dream Home Honoree had, from 7% 50 years ago up to 80% today. Thank you, and you are making a huge donation to St. Jude and saving children's lives. Evan's family knows he wouldn't be here without the daily advances in the St. Jude lab. Ogden's work focuses on shutting down the pathway that allows brain tumors to grow in children in the first place. Sometimes several years, we begin to place all of the steps in the signal relay, and then we can understand perhaps how they're inappropriately activated in a cancer and new methods to maybe shut that down. St. Jude willingly shares its research with any hospital or doctor who wants it, publishing its findings worldwide immediately after they're made, all in an effort to save even more children. We don't have to spend, you know, sometimes months, years in our offices writing grants to try to fund our research because we really do get money back from the donations that are made to support St. Jude. And that is where you can help. It costs $1.6 million to operate St. Jude every day. This year's St. Jude Dream Home Campaign and other dream homes across the country provide a big chunk of that funding. And if you had not gotten your ticket yet, you only have 11 days left to do so. The home is in Carruthers Cove at Ladd Park in Franklin. It's right off the Paytonsville Road exit. It's 3,100 square feet with five bedrooms and four baths. Tickets are $100, which qualifies you also for the dream home as well as 19 other prizes. You can visit the home this weekend and you can also register while you're there for a $5,000 shopping spree to American Signature Furniture and six months of golf lessons from Golf Tech.